I was super excited the first time I read um, the, the, the script for Peppermint because it's an original story. It's not based on anything, and that just doesn't happen anymore, and there's a strong woman at the middle. And I felt like for a long time that, you know, I did action a long time ago, obviously, but I, I haven't done it in so long, and I felt like it's a little bit of a missed opportunity because what would you fight for more than your family? And I've never gotten the chance to play that kind of visceral need to defend or protect or, you know, take care of someone in your family. Riley's husband, Christopher, um, is a mechanic and he's working his tail off, but he so desperately wants to give his family what they don't have, which is, you know, financial security, especially because it's right around Christmas, it's their daughter's birthday, that he flirts with the idea of taking a job that would put him with some unsavory characters and he would be breaking the law. He ultimately decides not to do it, but by the time he's made that decision, the unsavory characters on the other end of the transaction have found out about his um, possibly being, you know, doing something against them, and they kill him and his daughter, Carly, on her birthday night. And so my character, Riley, watches this happen in front of her. She sees the people who kill her family. She loses her mind, of course. And she is herself injured, and when she comes to um, she immediately wants to make sure that those people are brought, you know, brought to justice and that they go to jail. She just goes into hiding, she shuts down her heart, and she spends the next five years becoming a machine with absolutely nothing but MMA skills, gun skills, knife skills, the ability to stitch herself back together, the ability to reset her own bones, the ability to just not feel pain emotionally or physically, and to get out there and fight for her daughter. And on the fifth anniversary of her daughter's passing, which was, is also her birthday, she um, just shows up in L.A. and uh, ready to do whatever she needs to do. It's avenging the death of her daughter and her husband. And um, so I was super excited when I first read it. I had a great first meeting with Pierre and had loved Taken. Um, because I felt like he infused all of the action and all of the scenes and all the drama with a sense of realism. Pierre is, he knows exactly what he wants. He's very clear. Um, and he has a real eye for, um, for action and for camera. And he and I are always on the same page about um, the realism, which I love. But I had not shot a fight since The Kingdom, and my first daughter was learning to crawl on that movie. So she's 12. That was 11 plus years ago. Um, and that's a long time to hang up your action chops and try to, try to pull it back together. But I knew that I could do it. I know how to train. I know the discipline you need. And I knew exactly what I would need to do in order to make it happen. I had never trained in boxing. So um, this, this trainer named Joinier Lockett, um, I saw him every day uh, for a different hour, and I would box with him. And then on the weekends, I'd do a few hours with the stunt team. And they would come over and take me through the paces. And that was, a, a you know, boxing, kicking, and then actually, then slowly incorporating choreography. But, um, and then on the side, I was also spending time with the Navy SEALs at the gun range. I had worked with them before for different films. Um, so I had a base understanding of how to use a weapon, how to change a mag, but still for the fluidity of it, and it had been a long time, um, I just needed to get back out there and, and do a lot of work. I think um, an, an empowered woman, a woman who takes matters into her own hand and fights for what she needs to do, it's, in the end, she, um, 
you know, she's left quite a bit of carnage, so it's not someone that I would ever hope to emulate, but what's behind it, the fact that she just says, I don't need any of you, I've got it, I'm taking care of this, I'm a mom, and I'm gonna do what I need to do. That I really, um, I'm inspired by, and, and I feel very much um, the importance of us doing a good job, of me doing a good job, and of us selling the hell out of this movie so that people come and see it so we can continue to do just this.